Imagine, Imagine when you're trying to become more than one. <laughs> trying to find your roots. And you think that, oh, I'm this one, I'm this one, I'm that one. And then you find out that you're no one. Searching for what? Your soul. Your ancestors. Your love. Who are you? Who are you? Do you know who you are? Do you know? Do you know who you are? Do you know? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know? Do you know? my DNA results back and from Ancestry.com. And so I just don't want to stop at analyzing my DNA results. I'm the kind of person I always like to ask questions and I would definitely like to make compare a comparison. So I'm on a website called jedmatch.com and it's a great website to analyze your results and compare them with um the results on jetmatch.com and jetmatch collaborates with different DNA companies like ancestry.com, 23andme and familydna.com so um so yeah I've uploaded my results already but this is the main screen on what it looks like and so if you've done a DNA test with another company you should just register first And so fill in all your registration information and then click on register. As for me, as for me, I already registered, so I'm just going to log in. okay so I logged in and what you're gonna have to do is after you've registered and after you've logged in you'll have to upload your DNA results from whichever company you tested with I tested with ancestry.com so I'm gonna click on ancestry.com and you just go ahead and pretty much everything is explanatory and you just fill in what they're asking for and then once you um, you know you've uploaded your DNA results from ancestry.com then you'll have to upload them here okay so first you want to log into ancestry.com in order to get your raw DNA file so I of course I have an account so I'm gonna log into my account at the top you want to click on the DNA link and it's gonna take you to your DNA page and then all the way to your far right you're gonna see a little symbol and next a little wheel symbol and next to that is setting it's the word settings so click on that and then under so it's gonna say test settings and then your name and then on the right side there's a word that says actions and so you want to scroll down a little bit and you're gonna find download raw DNA data so you want to click on download raw DNA data and it's going to ask you just to verify your password and so you put all that information in and I already downloaded mine so I'm just gonna cancel out so you're going to absolutely need this in order to further analyze your results on jetmatch.com without this information you can't do it and I'm not sure how you do it on 23andMe 
and I'm not sure how you do it on family DNA um, you will just have to go inside of your account there and poke around a little bit or just like probably you can probably Google search it you know um, download the raw DNA file for whichever program um, you got your results from and then so once you have that data once you've downloaded your raw DNA data you want to upload it to jetmatch.com and right down here you want to click on browse and of course it's going to open up and give you options of which folder to get it from so whichever folder you got it you you saved it in well try to first try to remember which folder you saved it in and it's it's going going to say raw dna data from ancestry.com something like that and um yeah so then you upload it and just be patient because it's going to take a little while so um because it's a lot of information to process and you know once you get it uploaded it's going to take about a day or two for you know the jetmatch analytical program to analyze your results so just be patient <laughs> so I would say probably check back in about a day or two and and then you can move on to the next step of analyzing your results